Conscience. Today we delve into holistic healing and whole food nutrition with the Natural Health Authority, Jason Eagle of Strategic Healing. And now here's Jason. All right. All right, all right, all right. Hi, everybody. This is Jason Eagle, your Natural Health Authority. Uh, the number to call in the show is 313-272-5600. You can see me now live on Facebook Live, which is my Facebook page, Strategic Healing, and you can type in questions there. You can send in your questions there. Um, we are going to talk today about a lot of what's going around and, uh, and some, I guarantee you this is going to be a different perspective <laughs> and I guarantee you that this is coming from a health perspective. This is coming from what is healthy for you, what's healthy for all of us, what is healthy, uh, and, um, but even more so, what's a healthy perspective? Well, okay, we talk about being what's called responsible. Well, response-able is the ability to respond, but how do you respond? That's what this is all about. How do you respond? And if you, the way you were responding before was not working or it, it had some uh, health concerns, meaning stress, stress on your life is definitely very bad for your immune system. So let's rebuild the immune system, okay? So let's start the show off today, which is talking about some of the most latest things and information that I have to share with you about what's going on and what to do about it. Okay, so uh, number one, I want people to uh, know that across the world, what's being happened is money is being made available um, across the world. Um, evictions are being suspended. Um, uh, you cannot be canceled from your insurance for not paying a premium. Um, a gas in terms of gas and electric you cannot have that cut off everything so that's a big sigh of breath of relief meaning whoo because people are home and you got people who are not working going oh my god what am I gonna do okay remember here let me tell you this the United Way right now has a number you can call it's what's called the United Way Community Economic, economic Relief and it's the number to call is one eight six six two one one nine nine six six and that they will give you the last for your zip code and then they will put you in contact with uh, sources that will help you with bills rent and food okay um, eventually we're gonna get to a point where this may not you may not even go to the grocery stores anymore and they will be uh, in parking lots where instead of shipping the food to let's say Gordon's foods because the restaurants are closed they're just gonna redirect them and they're gonna ship them to people um, and you go into a parking lot and pick up your food at this point we can still go to the grocery store um, but that stuff is going to be limited right um, but I'll get in a minute to like this is a good thing so I've already told you and given you a resource that number to call is one 9966 if you're having trouble um, and this is like not just in this country this is all over the world like I said they are suspending evictions if you can't pay or you didn't pay or you're well into like you should have been kicked out of your home no one's gonna get kicked out of their home no one's gonna have these real so that means this is an opportunity a golden opportunity for us to heal for us to heal especially the mind and heal because not only is this without you know whatever kind of virus it is this is also a mind virus. This is also an ocular virus, uh, meaning a virus of how you think, okay? Are you fear-based or are you love and trusting and like, okay, I know this is what it is, but this could be this. If you've listened to my shows in the past, I always lean towards the positive. I always lean toward the, the silver lining and that's, you have to make that. So this is gonna show, and that's, are you responsible? Are you response-able? Sure, I can gut, you know, uh, reaction and 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 do it out of panic and fear but that doesn't help and in fact it, it lowers your immune system and it allows if you get exposed for it to get deeper in and even take and then this is an ocular virus meaning uh, I can go into a different forms of ocular virus but just think about it what you see do you see things glass half full or half empty the mind or ocular viruses is is it is there to play off of if you're ready to see oh you know awful and this is horrible and and uh, so but it's an opportunity so you are your own antiviral you're your own anti mind virus your own ocular antiocular virus which is change your perspective how do you respond 
Now, let me go, the number to call in again is 313-272-5600. That is the call-in show. Now, I'm going to go over what was just provided. Um, it was the president came out with a corona guidelines from the CDC. It's called 15 days to slow the spread. So people go, how long is this going to go on? Just plan on this to be 15 days. It may go longer, but do this for 15 days. So the very first thing that it says on this document, it says, listen to and follow the directions of your state and local authorities. They're there to help. If you think see things showing up in terms of like you thought it would be martial law, don't freak out. It's there to help, okay? If you feel sick, <clears throat> big, big, bold letters, <laughs> stay home, do not go to work. Call, contact your medical provider. If you feel sick, they're saying don't get tested. The testings are going to be made available, but if you don't have the symptoms, there was a number that I was going to give out for this mobile testing, but that was cut off in terms of like, don't tell people that yet because what they want you to do is they want you to contact your local doctor, contact your doctor if you got symptoms, and then they will direct you to the place of where, because they're trying to rule out people that don't have the right amount of symptoms or don't have any symptoms, you're just scared uh, and want to know, which I don't blame you, but you're going to use up a test that would be otherwise used for a person who does. They want to save as much as they're on top of it. It's still, we have to protect. Um, okay, if someone in your household has tested positive for the coronavirus, keep the entire household at home. Do not go to work. Do not go to stool. Contact your medical provider, okay? They will tell you and direct you. And in fact, what they're going to do now in, is instead of you going to the hospitals, they're going to do triage and they are sending people to you. They will do, doctors will do house calls again. <laughs> people for, I know all these years where I talked about like the old way that it used to be where the doctor would come to you uh, and they would really take care of you and they would see your circumstances was so much better. So this is a golden opportunity for us to fix many things that we knew was a problem. Okay, um, uh, so they will come to you um, most likely at this point. Um, they're building up these systems to address this, which is smart. It really is smart. Okay. Um, uh, another one is if you are an older person, stay home and away from other people. It's not that you're going to get them sick necessarily. It's about them getting their sick. This is time to hunker down and, you know, get out the knitting, <laughs> get, get out some coloring, you know, like the kids who had to stay in. We should all be like kids that build some forts and have a good time, right? Don't bloat out on your bad food. Eat some good food and, and, and take some baths. Now, if you're an older person and can't take a bath, you don't want to fall or anything like that, you know, uh, you got to take all these things into consideration. Okay? But this is an opportunity to stay home and heal. Drink lots of water. Everyone should drink lots of water. Good, healthy, clean water. Whether it's bottled water or you got a filter or, or uh, you get a, like a Brita filter or something like that. But immunosuppression as well as any type of disease really gets in from cracked cells like the nasal uh, passageways. Um, that's why getting high vitamin D at this point will protect the mucosal membranes because this one is touch. This one is you touch the surface and then you touch your nose, you touch your ear, you touch your mouth, you touch your any orifice and that's how it most likely gets in. Okay, If you are a person with a serious underlying health condition that can put you at increased risk, for example a condition that impairs your lung or heart function or weakens your immune system, stay home and away from other people. You can call to have these services delivered. There, there's going to be relief for these companies that seemingly are going out of business to deliver food and things. They're not. They're going to be supported. Um, this is like a, if you see this correctly, this is like a miracle. Okay. In the second page, it says, do your part to slow the spread of the coronavirus, even if you are young. Now, let me talk uh, later. I'll go into this. They talked, I watched President Trump's thing, and they are talking of involving the children because no children have gotten this, as far as we know. But they are talking about, they're noticing some things in um, Italy, and they are now the concern about is the children. I'm gonna tell you some of the code words in this because this is telling what this is all about. So it's about the children, it's about protecting the children, okay? Protecting the children. Um, uh, so it's critical to do your part to slow the spread of uh, coronavirus. Work or engage in schooling from home whenever possible. And that's 
all of it. It's all possible. So it's not whenever possible. It is possible. Like, do it. Um, if you work in a critical infrastructure industry, as defined by the Department of Homeland Security, such as healthcare services and pharmaceutical and food supply, you have a special responsibility to maintain your normal work schedule. You and your employer should follow CDC guidelines to protect your health at work. That's what you're going to do. So that means some people will go to work, but they will take measures and, you know, making sure that they're not infected, testing, all this other stuff. And um, avoid social gatherings in groups more than 10 people. There's a code in that, and, you know, maybe another show will get into that. But basically, that means that you can still uh, get out in your backyard with you know, less than 10 people uh, at nighttime and look at the stars. That would be really healthy because um, let's take your family outside kids being outside, a people being outside. As far as I know, this has not gotten into the homeless community. That's when, it's interesting. What is that? So most likely, if there's enough fresh air, it can't get. And also, if you get exposure to the sun, the sun will kill it. Now, I don't know this 100%, but that's what we knew about some of the previous viruses way in the past. Is I saw pictures where they had people in, in hospital beds that were outside in the sunshine. And because they knew that it would kill uh, this. Avoid eating and drinking at bars, restaurants, and food courts. Use drive-through, pickup, and delivery options. Okay. Avoid discretionary travel, shopping trips, and social visits. If you've already bought it, okay, stick down and hunker. Do not visit nursing homes or retirement or long-term care facilities unless to provide critical assistance. Made a way for that. Provide good hygiene. Wash your hands. Now, you don't have to use just a hand sanitizer. Uh, it, you know, uh, in fact, you can. If you run out of hand sanitizer, go. <laughs> don't buy it at the store. Hand sanitizer, they're out, and don't go into those places with the shelf. If you have to, use vodka. Okay, use alcohol, vodka or gin. You can buy uh, some from the local, uh, uh, you know, uh, liquor store, and you can just rub your hands with vodka, gin, any of these alcohols. It's the same thing. Instead of it being isopropyl alcohol or ethyl alcohol, this is regular drinkable alcohol. It does the same thing. Um, you can even wash your, put them in spray bottles and wash surfaces and everything like that. Um, wash your hands, especially after touching any frequently used item or surface, right? Avoid touching your face. Sneeze or cough into a tissue or inside of your elbow. Disinfect frequently used item and surfaces, uh, surfaces as much as possible. And if you've ran out of the stuff, like bleach and any other stuff, you can use, uh, like I said, alcohol. You can also use colloidal silver. Colloidal silver is a wonderful thing. You put colloidal silver into a uh, nebulizer, which is, it turns it into a mist and you can breathe it. It gets in your lung. Colloidal silver is antiviral, anti-protectant. Uh, the military is using this. Um, uh, you can still go get this at the whole health food store and things like that. And if you're, if you're really cool, you can make your own colloidal silver. <laughs> uh, it's a very, very easy to make. Um, now let me read this last part. School operations can accelerate the spread of the coronavirus, so kids are staying home from school. Uh, governors and states with evidence of community transmission should close schools affected by surrounding areas. Governors should close schools and communities that are near or of community transmission, even in those areas are even if those areas are in neighboring uh, states. Okay, so states are going to close down. Don't freak out. This is just for 15 days here. It may go longer, but just take it day at a time, day at a time. In addition, state and local officials should close schools where coronavirus has def uh, been identified in the population associated with the schools. State and local um, localities that close schools need to address child care needs of critical responders as well as the nutritional needs of children. Okay, again, they're talking about the children. I'm talking about the children. So... Now that I gave that information in terms of where we're at and, and what to do about that, um, up, so we're at 15 minutes right now, I'm going to take this opportunity to do a little commercial break, get my stuff together, and, and then we're going to blast this on. Okay, to a minute. How long have you been struggling with your health issues? Are you still living in pain? What kind of skin irritation do you have? Eczema, rashes, acne? Is your energy level in the basement? Are you trying to cope with depression or anxiety? Is your tummy always upset? If your body could talk to you, what would it tell you? Well, it does talk to you. It's the listening part that's tricky. But not with the amazing biocommunication technique, QRA, quantum reflex analysis, the highly effective system by which your body can communicate its true needs. Jason Eagle of Strategic Healing in Auburn Hills is your natural health authority, and he is the expert in using 
using QRA to get to the root of your health issues, then develop the plan to get you back to feeling good. Find out what's really happening with your body with your in-depth QRA evaluation with Jason Eagle. Call 734-985-5891 for your appointment with Jason at Strategic Healing in Auburn Hills. It'll change your life for the better. Call 734-985-5891 today. Okay, everybody. Okay, okay. This is Jason Eagle, your Natural Health Authority. The number to call in again is 313-272-5600. Um, so, let me get into this. As I talked about, which is how do you respond? Okay? Are you responsible? Everyone's responsible. I mean, everyone is able to respond. Okay? But are you able to change how you've been responding? Are you able to control how you respond? Which is our, if you're able to chill out and not freak out then you're better able to respond uh, in the next step. So, um, as I said, I'm gonna bring in a health perspective on this, is this, in my opinion, uh, is a golden opportunity, okay? Use this time, use these 15 days, use these multiple months, God knows what's gonna happen, but you can know what's gonna happen in the next moment, which is step by step, just take the next step, okay? One of the things that we know is you're staying home from school. Kids are staying home from school, right? And this is about the children, which is that is we've all complained about, and you've heard your kids complain. You've heard your kids complain. Number one, okay, let's start with just one of the basic things, even the little children, which is they've been in a situation where they, and I've talked about this in the past, this is unhealthy, which is raising your hand to have to go to the bathroom having to wait to go to the bathroom and having to hold it. It's not good to hold your bathroom, especially little children, okay? Um, but putting them in a position where it, they are in a classroom where they have to raise, that's just the way it's been, but that's not the right way. The right way is his children should be able to get up and, and go to the bathroom when they need to. And, and yes, we're not talking about abusing it, but you know, uh, so when you have children, we were all raised this way, but this, is what school did and we're for this bit of time they're getting out of this environment they're not in this environment and we have a chance to people will heal so you know just the basic thing of having to ask for permission to go to the bathroom puts you in a a, a type of what's called um, a, a mode of operation the mode of operation is basically um, you are uh, order followers um, you, it cuts out your ability to think um, it's small, but it's insidious because this is a basic thing that kind of builds upon builds and, and we also it's not good for your health So when you have your kids at home right now, they're doing the homeschooling and, and now all kids are doing homeschooling You know get into some of the things that you this is this is a chance to do home ec with the kids which is mom take both the boys and the girls and you know now it's chore time now it's time for them to learn some and I'm, they're not they may kind of moan and go and be bratty about it but i guarantee you they want it children didn't want all children i don't care how aged they they are they didn't want to be separated from you now and you didn't want to be separated from them and maybe you did but it was better if you you know wanted to be with your family right and the children just want you okay and so now they have you and now you have them and so start doing some things that are productive um, you know, the father that would be, or even the mother for that instance, or the older brother would be like, you know, my father and our, as I'm older, other fathers, and, you know, let's go out in the garage and work on that machine. Let's learn how I can take apart a machine and put it back, and I'm not, I didn't study in this stuff. I just stood with my father and my grandfather and my brother, and we figured out, we had snowmobiles, all that stuff that broke down all the time, and I can fix anything may not be the right way, <laughs> but it, it's a way. But it was hands-on, and it was apprenticeship. This is the ability to have children at home and do apprenticeship, okay? 
use this time wisely as a, a golden opportunity. So we've all heard people that have been complaining about these things as a society, which is no kids outside. You know, kids are stuck inside. Well, guess what? I've been, I don't know about you, but I've been driving back and forth to work and I've been seeing empty parking lots, but I've seen a ton of people outside walking. This is an adventure park for dogs and, and dog lovers. I've seen so many people. I don't know if you've seen it. Again, the ocular virus, can you see it? Are you able to see it? Meaning sometimes you gotta wipe the sleep out of your eyes, the negative sleep, and you actually, you can't see it because your mind won't let you see it. This is similar to like, this is opposite of kind of like, you know, an anorexic person. I've used this example a couple times this week. You know, an anorexic person can look in the mirror and see a fat person. That's, they see what is not reality, but it's their internal reality. So have you been able to see that more kids are outside, families are outside, people are walking up and down the street getting fresh air. They look happy, right? That's awesome. Um, people are complaining about, again, people not walking outside and the dogs, like I've seen, this is like an adventure park, not for dogs. Dogs have to sniff another dog. So we're actually healing dogs right now. <laughs> Think about it. I mean, this was forced upon us, but what people are responding with. I've heard stories about Italy where people were leaning out their windows and singing and singing like these, you know, this, you know, communal songs. And it was kind of like the bonfire all over again. And, and, and it was healing. Um, that's good. That's good for what we've said was wrong with society. This is an opportunity to heal, which is use this time. Um, Many people have said, okay, my husband is at work all the time and he can't be, or the mom's at work all the time. Now they're not, they're at home, right? But then there's been a complaint. They're at home and they watch that 80 box and they watch the sports all the time. Bingo, it's all gone. There's no sports to watch. And maybe you can watch reruns, but it'll get bored with that. So this has been a miracle cure for that. Think about all the people that have gambling, gambling addictions, okay? Um, that's gone. You can't go to these places. And so even just taking a person with any type of addiction and you drive them out of that behavior for two weeks to 21 days or something like that, 14 days to 21 days, many people, it's like the the monkey comes off their back and it cures them. There are going to be so many people that are going to be cured from gambling addiction right now. Uh, I'm going to go back to this husband's away thing, which is the both parents away. A great movie to watch right now if you're gonna hunker down and watch anything and let me explain the esoteric meaning as well as the practical meaning is Mary Poppins Mary Poppins was all about these children that became bratty children and and little monsters because they drove away all of the caretakers because they were forced to only have caretakers caretake them because the mom was out marching for the women's road to vote a good thing but she left the kids the father was at work too much and he was very stodgy and it was all about the money they lost it so what it really was about was the loss of the father the father inability to say this is what it's going to be family and also noticing that the family could be restored so what did the fa what did mayor poppins do was really gave them a chance, these chants for these children to heal. But she also modeled this in front of the parents. The father learned how to fly a kite with the children, which is he, he saw he was able to be a child again, and that's what the children want. Can you drop that ego? Can you drop that thing? And, and the father's going, well, I'm just doing it to help you. I don't want us to starve or whatever. No, you're overdoing it, and it's not necessary. What if father was right now which is you don't have to go to work because you will be paid still and all of your debt will be wiped clean clean or your interest will be waived that's what they're doing right now so he literally doesn't have to because many fathers can be at home i've seen i i never been this but i've seen many men which is on vacation but yet they're still not on vacation they're still doing work or they're on their phone or anything like that that's all gone okay so and then mary poppins was all about what happened to the father? The father learned to give and give his time to his family. He said, you know what? You're robbing my family. I'm not going to serve this anymore. And the guy that was the real owner of the, of the bank basically was like, you know what? He's right. And uh, then the father and the mother came back and, and the family was restored. And this is an opportunity to, to be this, which is can you heal your family? 
Um, the family needs to get back together. And again, we're stuck together. <laughs> Some bad things are going to come out, which is finally you're going to have it out, right? And then decide who really is and what do you really want? Do you really want what's best for this family? Or are you really wanting to tear this down? And tearing down is not, not possible right now because we can't tear down. We need to build up. And sometimes people were hurt and, uh, and then we just run away from each other. Or, and now this is a chance to face it. And, and everyone's doing it. Everyone's doing it. So it makes it easier. Um, uh, food addiction. You know how many people, like for instance, the but we've all gone to the buffets and looked at the really obese people. Like there's even that funny comedy, which is, you know, you've been here for an hour. You, is that the Chinese, <laughs> at the, what is it, the Chinese buffet? You've been here for an hour. You go home now, you know. That's all gone. People cannot be, there's not this outlet for this food addiction, right? Which is going to help to break people of these bad, bad habits if we use this wisely. Okay? That's what the world is doing for us right now. And uh, can you perceive it? Can you see it and use it? You can always have the opportunity to take any situation and make the best of it. And the best is I'm going to go forward with life. I'm going to choose life. I said this before last week, which is I set before you life and death, which is every moment, every breath, every heartbeat, which is a chance to intend something better, intend something that's life-giving. And, and again, this is literally threatening our life, right? As far as we know, we're here, but it's not threatening the children's life and it's not threatening the homeless people's life. Now, maybe that may change. Maybe they, they're carriers. We know they can be carriers. They can threaten the older ones. But parents that are afraid of their kids catching it, like number one, let that fear go because none of them have gotten it yet. So again, I don't wanna be jump the gun on this because this thing morphs. They all morph and they change, but people our immune system morphs too we can change it it can change us we can change it we can change through the observer effect and through how we perceive it which affects our immune system and our immune system is what builds the codes to change this thing and then that gets shared so the virus can get shared and the antivirus can get shared through positivity and how people this is going to be an opportunity of for people who have saw the world be horrible, people being rude. How many people have we said, like going to the movies and that bunch of kids, you know, these teenagers that are rude, that's all gone. That's all gone. And we'll have 15 days or more to dry out of this, which means you're not going to, there's a bunch of people that are not going to have negative responses or negative experiences out there to keep being like a glass half empty, which is, I hate the world. The world hates me. It's a bad place. Now you only have your world <laughs> and if you don't like it, then change it and change your mind and make it a good place to be. You might as well fluff your nest right now and make it a comfortable and healthy and responsible place to be because you're not going anywhere and it's what's best. Um, now also people, you know, I, you know, kids being in high school, grade school, now it's gone down further, which is it's competitive. It's this group mentality and it's so clicky. I'm 50 years old and it was clicky then, but it's way clickier now. And, you know, it is it is like group men and it's barbarianism. If you don't show up with the right clothes, now that they had social media, to, that's gone now. So children are not in this toxic environment. TG, teenagers are not in this toxic environment, which is if they don't wear the clothes, the right clothes. Bullying, which has been a huge thing. Bullying is gone now. Unless you've got a bunch of kids roving in your neighborhood grouping up, which they're told not to do that, right? No more than groups of 10, okay? So don't form the whole football team, half a football team, and just a, in everyone's front yard, a bunch of different little football teams. If you're going to go outside and play, right? Um, and do, go outside and play. Be outside. Go for walks. Be in the fresh air. Be in the sun. Go outside tonight and look at the stars and breathe it in. Get bundled up. Do some grounding. Uh, like I've talked about this, you will build your immunity and build your immune system and also rebuild your experience and honor of this real world. The plants are not getting this virus, okay? This is, they're going to be fine and they have the energy to don't. So that's why the plants that we can take inside our body, like I said, the mushroom, chaga mushroom, fermented mushrooms, like the um, uh, cordyceps and turkey tail and reishi mushrooms, these are all good for this because these things don't get it out there and, and they're out there still living. 
if people ever worried about, oh, I'm going to starve, go out and eat some dandelions. Dandelions are sprouting up right now. They, it's weeds right now can literally be put into your salad. Go outside, pick some, like they're sprouting up right now because if there's no snow out there. And you can find dandelions, you can find um, plantain, you can find a bunch of these just, and they're weeds out there, but they're super nutritious. And just mix them in your salad, put them in your smoothie, you know, eat them, saute them up. Yes, they're a little bit bitter, but put some lemon on it, put some vinegar on it and salt and pepper and, and or mustard. You know, you can make like people that say they hate like kale. Well, kale, you know, put a little bit of mustard on it after you've sauteed it up and it's good for your health. But, you know, people go, we're going to starve. There's food everywhere if you know where to look for it. If you open your mind and say, oh, okay, well, I could just do this. You're never going to starve. And again, as I said, the United Way is given a number out 866 two eleven ninety nine sixty six and there is economic relief for whatever you need as well as food okay so again people that have been desiring to stay at home at work but they can't afford it okay think about all of the all of the strip clubs that people have had to go work at and said it's all closed it's all done right which is great because it's it's healthy. So people not wearing inappropriate clothes and things like that, which is people were judging people to that, but they really wanted it to go away. They, well, that's gone, and which gives people a chance to heal. Um, people being now, for instance, people calling in sick is encouraged. In fact, it, it, now you're going to see companies that are going to be sanctioned, or not sanctioned, but shunned, meaning before it was you better have people show up. Right now, it's like you better not have people show up, and so no one is going to fault anyone for calling in sick. And in fact, it, it's encouraged right now. Stay home, and that means that they are going to suspend uh, uh, the debts and things that would have occurred. So the fear has been taken away. This fear has been taken away. If you can see what's going on around you, then yes, it could be one way, but it could be the other way. Right? It could be, and it is the other way. Make it the other way, which is this is the opportunity to heal. And I'm just pointing out these things that is the truth out there, which is if you saw what it was, um, then you wouldn't be so afraid. And, uh, and if you are afraid, it's you are the one that's making it be afraid because there are answers to these things and there is relief. For, and there are, are recommendations that make smart, which is if you just follow this. And people are self-policing. I'm seeing this. People are self-policing, and it's so wonderful. It really is great. It's a great opportunity for people to, um, to make the most of the situation, which also is the exact recommendations of how do we get over this time? How do we get through this time? And when we come through this, what are we going to be left with? And there, we always forget and we always go back. We always forget, you know, but some people don't. And it changes society. And this will change society for the better. I, it will change my society for the better. And I'm also, it may change, think about this. It's looking pretty good right now to uh, not live in a condo and buy a house out in the country and maybe get some chickens and some cows and some bees and your own uh, garden and things like that. Uh, been there, done that. Saw this a long time ago. Been doing this for a long time. So now, once we get through this and the finances is able to come back and we don't know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm telling you, this could be wonderful. Instead of change, instead of pursuing the the things that we pursued before, which is the bigger subdivision house that has no trees around, why don't we look at later maybe selling some things and changing our perspective? Which is now we've already gotten up the hump, which a ton of businesses found out that they go can go on with people not coming into work and doing it from home. So that means you don't have to live close to work. You can live somewhere, and it would be healthier if you were to move to the country, uh, something smaller, and then have some, some where you grow your food and stuff like that, uh, have your own water, these different types, just basic. Because number one, it's, you're getting out in the clean air, and you don't have close enough neighbors. So number one, it answers the communicability things right now, but it, it, it builds in what we really should have, which is sovereignty, sovereign people in sovereign communities where... You don't have to rely upon this situation and uh, to take care of you. You can take care of yourself, which then you can take care of others. And also, it takes care of your fear. It takes care of your fear that you like don't have to worry if, if, if it hits the fan that, you know, it's fine. You're taken care of. 
this is looking much, much better for the future. This is looking so maybe people start changing the perspective because people are going to come through this and people are going to make money and are going to have money. But, you know, we've already ruled out that you want to work for a big corporation or with a bunch of people. Like, because this thing can come back and morph and change. So this is the new way of doing things and we don't know what it's going to be. But make it a good thing. And the government is doing its part to actually help you. They're going to be sending money out. They don't know how much, but people are literally going to be getting money that's put into their account. You're going to see some debt that is wiped clean, student debt. They've already stopped in terms of, of accruing the interest. You're, I believe eventually you're going to see some student debt that's wiped clean uh, and other type of debt, which is kind of like what back in the days of, of, of the Jews was what's called a jubilee, debt jubilee. Um, if that's not what it is, that's what's happening. Treat it that way, meaning make the most of it and take it and run on and make your life better and make your community's life better and, and love your family and love yourself. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. That's the first thing that is also supported in this. But also bring our attention back to the children. This is the opportunity to stop hurting the children and now start helping the children and also listening to the children. And so this is time to, you know, instead of just having them in front of that idiot box, put them on a schedule where you get this much TV. You can always pull the cord out of the wall. You can always take the cord away so that and, and they'll do what you tell them to do and tell them good things, which is, you know, do some coloring. Do some, you know, clean this up. We're going to clean some things up. You can go out and start cleaning up the neighborhood, you know, with bags. And if you have, you want them to put masks on and gloves on and stuff, fine. Go out there and stand out there with them as they clean up the neighborhood. They need something to do. You need something to do anyway. So make the most of it. You can start sprouting right now. You can literally still go to, let's say, the garden centers and just buy broccoli seeds and all kinds of things. And then just put them in some uh, like a wet them put them in like a mason jar get them wet and then put the mason jar on its side right where they're not soaking in water but they're wet and then just keep misting that and what will happen is is you'll see that these seeds grow that they grow into whether they be sprouts or microgreens and microgreens are the most healthy most nutrition form of any plant when a plant is in its microgreen stage it has more nutrition more antioxidants than when it gets into its adult stage and even before it makes seeds so uh, and anybody can do this you can put these you can get flats and you don't even have to put soil in there you can put some paper towel down right or some cotton or something like that because you don't want to use your paper towel put the seeds on there get it wet keep misting it put it by an open window put it by inside it doesn't have to be outside as long as it gets lights and literally in three days you will get sprouts between three to seven days, you can get sprouts to microgreens, and you just keep it going. You can do this in an apartment building. Put it on a shelving unit or something like that, and just stack it up. And so people will have food and fresh food. If you can't get the garden yet, and you can't get the, the property yet, you can start doing it on the inside, right? Um, don't forget your elderly. They're saying, do not necessarily... I was normally saying this is a great time for grandma to be part of... Grandma and grandpa to be part of it. But they're saying, you know, don't spend time with them. You know, kind of let them stay in. Because... Uh, but bring food to them. Um, bring to the doorstep. Knock on the doorstep. And, and, you know, give them a little bit of hand sanitizer. Or give them a little bit of like a, like a spray bottle with some vodka and some water. Uh, like half and half, or even just straight vodka, and, and say, okay, because if you've touched something, they can touch it and then touch itself, but if you spray it down, like the box or the bag or something like that, then it becomes sanitized, and then you, you don't transmit it to them. Um, this would be a great opportunity to, to go over to Grandma and Grandpa's house and, and do their yard work right now. You know, kids need something to do. So, you know, grandma and grandpa and the older people need to be taken care of and thought of in this. But there's a lot of things that you can do without endangering them because this work still needs to be done. Um, get on the phone with them. Uh, if they don't know how to do Skype and, and, and uh, FaceTime, you know, drop off an extra iPad that you may have, right? And basically say, you know, here, I'm going to call you and, and open it up and then you'll be able to see me. Um, there's a lot of things that we can do um, to unite and bring this together and it's also very very important for people to have something to do because it quells your fears and I'm also telling you you should not be afraid 
People should not be afraid of this. I'm seeing a ton of doctors, like including Dr. Drew, that said it's the media that's hyping this up. Now, I'm not a, saying don't do nothing. I'm saying follow these guidelines. But we can treat these guidelines as this is a mirror obesity, addiction, all kinds of things that were uh, very, very harmful for us that we all wished we could do something about, but we couldn't do it. This is being done for us in a miracle type of thing. And so, uh, you know, again, as I say, I always look at the, the bright side, but this is more than a bright side. This is a miracle side for us to really address the things of our health. And I'm telling you, all of the triggers are out there to say that it's really, it's your mind. It's your spirit and your mind that needs to heal, which is get control of your fears. And sometimes too, getting control of the fears, which means having something to do. Um, all of the uh, war heroes that were in any of the wars, when we brought them home and put them up on the stand and said, you know, you know, and gave them the medal and said, tell us your story, they would go, don't call me your hero. I was not a hero. I was just doing what I was trained to do. And in fact, when I lost my mind because I was so scared, doesn't mean I was scared. In fact, I, I, I you know, went in my pants. <laughs> you know, I really was scared. But I, my training kicked in and I was doing something and I had to do. And, and it, that's what, it was the hero. The hero was the activity. The hero was I just, ought, even if I lost my mind, but my body just kept doing it. Um, that's good training. And so this is good time to get good training about what are the right things to do. So even when we come through this, we've been way too lazy about all these different types of what we would call communication of disease is that, you know, we've been too lax with this, with all this community hand dipping type of stuff. And um, it's, it, you know, we're going to come through this and we're going to maintain some of the stuff that we've learned. We're going to keep some of these tools that we've learned. We may drop a bunch of them. Like I said, people forget it. Um, but they remember some, and society has already been changed for the better so that our future can be, now the future could go the other way. We don't know, and, and, but what will, that future is fear, and that future comes out of fear. And so we know how that future goes, and so deliberately start doing things that quell the fear about this. Um, let me go through this. Okay, let me take another opportunity. We're just in like the last 15 minutes. We're going to take another commercial break and I'll be right back. How long have you been struggling with your health issues? Are you still living in pain? What kind of skin irritations do you have? Eczema, rashes, acne? Is your energy level in the basement? Are you trying to cope with depression or anxiety? Is your tummy always upset? If your body could talk to you, what would it talk to you? Well, it does talk to you. It's the listening part that's tricky, but not with the amazing biocommunication technique, QR, in quantum reflex analysis, the highly effective system by which your body can communicate its true needs. Jason Eagle of Strategic Healing in Auburn Hills is your natural health authority, and he is the expert in using QRA to get to the root of your health issues, then develop the plan to get you back to feeling great again. Find out what's really happening with your body with your in-depth QRA evaluation with Jason Eagle. Call 734-985-5891 for your appointment with Jason at Strategic Healing in Auburn Hills. It'll change your life for the better. Call 734-985-5891. Hey there, this is Jason Eagle, your natural health authority. Just in the last 15 minutes, I can take a, a call. The number to call in is 313-272-5600. I'm live on Facebook Live. That's Strategic Healing. Uh, it's my Facebook page. And later, I, you can also see I record these shows on my YouTube channel, which is Jason Eagle QRA. A Q, and then an R, and an A. That stands for Quantum Reflex Analysis. And uh, you can see these things and go back, what did he say again? And uh, re-watch it, okay? Let me also talk about, so what are the, some of the things that 
not just this virus, and you can go back, and, and I've talked about this, and I've been, you know that I've been talking about infection. I, I've listened to my shows since I've been doing this, like, pretty much everything's infection. <laughs> it's, and it's true, because if we adopt the anti-infection model, which is not about killing it and blasting it, but supporting the immune system to learn to respond to it. Again, it's responsible, able to respond correctly. But you have to have the mechanisms to respond. I think this is hilarious that this this virus, the meme that it's going to be known for is toilet paper. This is going to be the toilet paper virus. Okay, and, and why is that so appropriate? It's what I've talked about, which is most of your infection, most of your disease process is related to lack of eliminating lack of being able to poop, right? So this is perfect, which is what's the, you know, what are people doing to respond, especially Americans? They're pooping, right? <laughs> and that's good, you should be pooping, okay? So we should be drinking plenty of water and people should be, so even people that, for instance, tend towards constipation, if you got any type of, of over-the-counter medication or like uh, herbs type of thing, start taking some smooth move, start taking some like, uh, uh, Delcalase or something like that that is, is again a laxative don't overdo it don't hurt yourself but see most people that have been holding on to waste products is because they've been at work or they've been in people you know how many teachers I know that have developed recurrent bladder infections because they couldn't go to the bathroom they should be able to go to the bathroom when they want just like I talked about with children holding their bladder or holding their bowels is very toxic for you you shouldn't have to wait. You should go when you need to go and go as often as you need to go. But people have had the excuse, I'm going to be stuck in a car. I don't want to go in my pants. That's done. You're at home or wherever you're at. So you might as well go. Here's the other thing is people have been desperately in need of sleep. Desperately in need of sleep. We are So when people go back to work, a bunch of coffee addiction is going to be broken. Do you understand what's going on right now? This is glorious because people, so use this as a time to catch up on your sleep. What else are you going to do? Get off that news, stop watching the news, read a good book, and sleep more often. Even with the older people, which is okay, you can't go see them or whatever. They should just be staying in. If you're an older person listening to this show, use this as an opportunity to, to sleep more. You have nothing to get up for, and everything's going to be taken care of, so don't worry about it. So this is a time to rest and dream and have good dreams and restore, build up your bank of sleep, which will rebuild up your immune system, which will rebuild up your psyche, because your brain rewires itself from all negative damage, especially negative societal damage. Our brain, that's how it rewires itself. I remember my grandpa, when he was really old, he would he was having like these nightmares where he kept doing, he imagined like he was back at work and I, I heard him at nap time and, and it was basically, he was still stuck in a loop of trying to, to rewrite some of the things of the past. That, it, you know, he was a foreman at the um, Buick plant in Flint um, and uh, so, but his brain was working this stuff out. It wasn't that he was crazy. It wasn't that he was becoming Alzheimer's. It was that he, now that he had enough time away from this stuff, his, his, he was not in the thick of it and his brain was able to process it and was able to heal the damage of these situations. Okay. So dreaming and sleeping, REM state sleeping is extremely good for the mind for the, the uh, immune system, for your energy levels. You will rebuild up your adrenal levels, which is why people are doing so much sugar and coffee and caffeine in the first place is to just kind of fake what your body should be doing anyways. This is, it, you, all the excuses are gone. You can heal. Um, if you do anything to help your body, let's say you didn't go to a health food store. You don't need to go to a health food store. Just eat less carbohydrates. Okay, don't eat all of that, that cakes and cookies that you stocked up on. Eat some of the real. This is the time that, like, you bought those beans, eat those beans. Beans and rice, okay, or just beans, or just some basic, go to just some basic protein for a day, which is protein and fat and some vegetables and non-carbohydrate vegetables, mostly. Cut back on the carbs. Use this as a time. And what you'll find is people with inflammation and all this other stuff, instead of being on their anti-inflammatory drugs, which they will not be able to get like they did before, they'll see that diet helps them so much. Okay? So sleeping and diet and water, as I told you, many people say, I, I am dehydrated, but I have to pee all the time and I can't step out of work. I can't, or I'm in the car or I'm driving the truck. 
bingo, that's gone. So now you can eliminate them. Now you can clean yourself out. And now you can heal without any repercussions. Without, it's, you know, it's encouraged right now. Now it's the get out of jail free card for so many things that we have. This is wonderful. You see where I'm going with this? This is wonderful. Take it and use it and make it be healthy. We know vitamin C. Okay, let's say you don't have vitamin C, but you went out and bought some oranges. You got some lemons. Squirt a whole lemon into some of that water that you're drinking. Put some sea salt into your water with the lemon so that you're getting good electrolytes plus the vitamin C. The real worst cases that they found were that they had severe vitamin C deficiency, which was scurvy. Vitamin C builds up your immune system. Now, ascorbic acid is not the best vitamin C, but I'm not ruling it out. I'm saying if you have some ascorbic acid, take a third of your dose of vitamin C would be in ascorbic acid, and then two thirds would be in your natural forms. That would be in some of the, let's say the pills or something like that, that come from what's called whole food supplements. That would be the cherries, that would be the acarola, that would be a uh, camu camu, um, but also your fruits. Um, and then vegetables too, like uh, broccoli is super high in vitamin C. Um, red bell peppers is more so than, than actually, um, um, uh, than oranges and then lemons, or even like, uh, you know, your sun-dried peppers or sun-dried pe uh, tomatoes, which you can get canned. Um, there's a lot of great vitamin C, so pump up the vitamin C and natural whole foods as specifically um, and that will start building up your immune system. And in fact, it gives you a protection measure. Get the old people that are home, get them their vitamin C, drop off some oranges, drop off some or some vitamin C at their place if you wanna help them at all. Um, you know, if you wanna do the work for them after you drop it off, have your you know sanitizer bottle, your alcohol bottle and spray it off and clean it off while you have gloves on your hand so that that care package is completely um, sanitized for them. This is how we can help people. Um, and get through this. Keep your kids up on vitamin C. Um, uh, keep your kids active. Um, give them some chores. Um, it's not all just sitting in front of the TV. There's lots of work that can be done uh, in the house. Um, use this as, that. you know, if you got a fireplace, get the fireplace going, turn the TV off and sit as a family and start telling stories like you used to. Your kids will feel better. You will feel better with your kids. Um, this is a golden opportunity for people to, because again, these things build up your immune system and that's what we want to build up because this is not over even when this is over. This thing has been unleashed, unleashed into the world and we're still going to be experiencing it. See, but the healthy immune systems are the ones that change it. That's what, that's what even what immunity is. That's what even the, they're hoping that a vaccine will do. Become the vaccine. You are the vaccine. Become the vaccine to share this light, to share this golden opportunity to everyone else. And this is biochemical too. This is genetics. What I'm talking about, it does, when a person becomes an emanator of the, the what do I do about this and how do I stay calm, not only behaviors just become shareable, but also through uh, biochemical, um, biophotonic, um, this is the sharing of information about what was wrong and what should we have always done about it. And, and now we, we get the opportunity to do it. Um, stop looking at the market that freaks you out, it's gonna change. And, and there's relief like there never was before. We don't know what's gonna happen. But you can, for your part, do your best part for what is gonna happen in your experience, in your reality. I don't know for you, but for me and my house, we will serve and, and we will honor and we will um, give offerings. Um, another thing is, is, is maybe it might be a good idea for like these big rolls of toilet paper, sometimes offering rather than sacrifice. You know, uh, if you don't have enough and you are at your last penny, the thing that breaks that curse of it, uh, uh, because you're stuck in a loop of where it can't, is giving something away. So I recommend is, you know, put your mask on or whatever and donate some of that toilet paper to a neighbor. Put it on their doorstep. Put a carton of this toilet paper. But I need it. And you bought so much, you don't need it. Give it and put it out on the doorstep. Put it out at your, uh, literally, put it out at your front walk, okay, where you would put the garbage or something like that or put it on the other side. So if somebody driving by sees it, and it doesn't matter who takes it, it's that you offered it, that you had something to give. 
and giving something out of what you think you don't have enough, it breaks the curse of you not having enough. And suddenly then it changes and it will make you feel better. And it also is a thing that proves to the universe that you're not afraid, that you are a supporter and a builder rather than a tearer down and a user of just a user of resources. You can do something about this. And um, I used to say that if you don't have enough money or something like that, a person should actually spend some, because you can give time. This is like you go out and open doors for people, right? Just And you'll see what happens to people when they, some people will ignore you, but some people go, oh my goodness, like that was wonderful. Well, now that's not necessarily recommended because we want to stay out. But, you know, something like that might be similar in terms of if you're on the outside, if you're outside, being outside, go outside and do some yard work. And, you know, don't be too cold and don't be stupid. But being outside, these things cannot uh, travel in the wind like that. And, and so you really are very, that's probably why the homeless people don't have it. It's because they're outside. Uh, and you would think that, you know, other viruses get worse in those communities, but they're not. This one is acting very different. That may change, but at this point, the children, the homeless people, teenagers, they're not getting it. Okay, so that means we should breathe this up. But it also points out something, that that youth has an immune system. Also, uh, environment is makes up for a bad immune system, which is if there's enough air between you and other people, this thing. Now, if someone's sneezing all over you and stuff like that, the particles would get. But, you know, if you are a distance apart and then there's air between you and then there's the sun shining down on you, you're going to have a greater, that's like the best of the best, which is you can't get it that way. And it's good for your health anyways, is to go out and walk the dog. Go out and walk at people and see your neighbors and, and you're not going to, con don't congregate together and actually have like a, a group meeting. Don't do this. Basically, just be small groups and then Talk to people, but talk about the good things. And you'll notice that people, you know, uh, if it starts to be in a negative type of conversation of fear mongering, just cut it off and basically say, I don't, you know, it's not, don't say I don't want to hear it, but like that's toxic and, and let's move on. Okay. Um, and share positivity. Most people, you'll just walk past each other and it's really good to see that people are outside. We've been waiting to see this. We've been waiting to see people treat other people like this. This is a golden opportunity. And let me bring this back again. This is a golden opportunity to families and for children. I highly recommend you watch Mary Poppins and just look at this and say, this is the restoration of the family through the children. The children have to be made right. And then they bring the family back and then the family then becomes a, and who can break the family? It, it, and what can happen to you you cannot do this to a society that has an intact family. It was done, but this is the opportunity to re-intact the family, unite the family, and then you'd like local communities, but small local communities, because big local communities, the problem of government and stuff is it got too big and people relied upon it and it, it didn't get to, and there were people that were harvesting off of it. There were a bunch of scavengers that were stealing from it, all right, and using the system right? But now this is, you are the system and it's a small system and it's local and that's the best way to stay healthy. So this is Jason Eagle, your natural health authority. And um, yeah, let me make sure we're still going. Yep. Until next time, we're, it looks like we're out of time right now. And so um, I will see you next week and I'll have some more information. So stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive, And as I said, golden opportunity, Willy Wonka, you got the golden ticket. Okay. Until next time. Bye-bye. Thank you, you too. Multiple healing modalities. Jason creates a finely tuned and highly personalized program just for you that will get you back to living your best life. Get started today by calling 734-985-5891 to make your appointment or go online to strategichealing.us. Strategic Healing is located at 2545 North Opdyke Road, Suite 106A in Auburn Hills. Ask the experts with Jason Eagle of Strategic Healing can be heard every Wednesday at 1 p.m. right here on WRDT, the word station. The materials and information provided in this broadcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended for use as diagnosis, prevention, or treatment of a health or other problem or as a substitute for consulting a licensed medical professional. 
some concepts presented here may be theoretical and have little or no scientific substantiation. Users are advised to conduct their own diligence. Be holy and Okay, Facebook. I know I was in a different room, but hopefully the audio was okay and the video was okay. I did some things had to change. I had to move to a different part of my office. So I will see you next week. Uh, until next time, bye.